Hello friends, this video on transport in plants part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Easy. Now, when we talk about this concept of transpiration pull, what happens is that water loss happens from the leaves through the stomata. So whenever the stomata opens, some water tend to be lost by uh, evaporation by in the form of water vapor to the surroundings. Now, whenever this water is lost, a pull below is experienced. Below means uh, below means it deep down to the root hairs. Till there, a pull is experienced upwards. Now, how this pull is experienced? That we will see very soon. We will try to understand what causes that upward pull. How a drop of water being lost here impacts or how it creates a pull somewhere here so to, till such great heights now detailed explanation on what makes water move up in a column so because of this behavior water it moves like a column like it is like how it moves in a river it you will feel as if water is moving in a tube tube like structure so all are moving together so that is how water moves due to transpiration pull as well so now we will try to understand what exactly happens in a transpiration pull so how transpiration pull causes water to move up in a column so let us see how this will make water move up. Now as we all know water is carried by xylem. Now in xylem also which element of xylem carries water? The tracheids and the vessels. Because xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers they are for storage and support. So these two elements of xylem will basically carry water. Now what are they? They are tube like structures. So let me draw a xylem tube. So a xylem tube would be somewhat like this right now in this tube like structures water molecules will be moving up right so now if we try to draw the water molecules it would be somewhat like this right so this oxygen will all have a slightly negative charge and the hydrogens will all have a slightly positive charge. So this is how water molecules would be present or would be moving inside the xylem tube. Now what happens inside the xylem tube. Now one plant has thousands and thousands of uh, xylem tubes. There is not just one xylem tube. There are several xylem tubes like this. Now when you look at this molecule of H2O overall even though it is neutral but when you look at each of the poles you see that the hydrogen have slightly positive charge and the oxygens have slightly negative charge. Now it is seen that water molecules are joined to each other for example this hydrogen and this oxygen they are joined together by hydrogen bonds they are weak bonds but good enough to hold the different water molecules together so similarly this hydrogen and this oxygen again will be hold together by hydrogen bonds so this hydrogen bonding uh, is like a cohesive bond because of this, all the water molecules are lightly held to each other. So if one molecule moves up, so if this water molecule moves up, the below water molecule will also move up because both are connected or linked by the hydrogen bond. So that is known as cohesion or the cohesive bonding of water molecules due to the presence of hydrogen bonds. So this way, due to the presence of this hydrogen bonds, the water molecule is like a chain of water molecules throughout the xylem tube starting from the tip of the root below to the leaves on the top. So till there the, all the water molecules are present as a chain of water molecules. So if you pull one molecule which is present at the topmost part it will result in a pull to all the molecules which are present below it. So not only this cohesive uh, force there are also some nitrogens which are present on the walls of the xylem tube. So when you talk about these walls, 
here you have some nitrogens which are present on the walls because nitrogen are often a component of uh, cell wall composition right so now it is seen that nitrogens also have a slightly negative charge so they tend to attract electrons so anything with a negative charge will tend to attract electron and anything with a positive charge will tend to give electron so as a result of this bonds are formed between nitrogen and hydrogen as well so basically some bonds are also formed between nitrogen which are present on the walls of the xylem tube and the hydrogen of water so this is how some bonding is also formed so what happens this is nothing but adhesion adhesion means the water molecules tend to remain linked to the surface over which it is flowing so now if you consider the entire scenario how is the water flowing inside the xylem tube all the water molecules are moving like a chain so if you pull one more molecule up all the other molecules will experience a pull upwards again all of them are attached to the cell wall so whenever you pull one of them all others will get uh, slided over the cell wall so because of this adhesion and cohesion it helps the water to move up in a column so now this process of adhesion and cohesion is clear right now what happens is during the process of transpiration in presence of sunlight sun provides the energy for evaporation of the water molecules which are present on the leaves maybe on the stomata so now this xylem tube will continue up to the leaf so there will be some xylem tube which will be present like this everywhere xylem tubes are there right so maybe the water molecule which is present here that receives the energy from the sun and because of the high temperature it evaporates and is lost as water vapor so one more water molecule is lost from the stomata to the atmosphere now as soon as one water molecule is lost what happens the next water molecule which was present below will experience a pull to replace the lost water molecule right now as soon as the topmost water molecule is receives a pull now that in turn is connected to so many water molecules in the chain so all of them will experience a pull and this results in a pull throughout till the tip of the root so as you keep now it is not that only one water molecule will be lost during transpiration many water molecules will keep losing so the pull will be experienced more and more pull will be experienced and more and more water molecules will be pulled upwards and that is how water is transmitted tra or transported upwards so every time a water molecule is removed from the by the process of transpiration the entire chain gets moved up or pulled up so this is the uh, concept of transpiration pull so it says that water diffuses from stomata to the surrounding air now the question is why water diffuses that's because water the concentration of water here is more it receives energy from the sunlight and utilizes that to get evaporated and that is how it diffuses out to the surrounding air so every time a loss of one water molecule from stomata will cause one water molecule in the tube to move up gradually resulting in a pull now that pull is because of this type of cohesive and adhesive bonding of the water molecules now is is the concept clear to you that how the this uh, transpiration pull can actually make water move vertically up against the gravitational pull up to big i mean high distances okay so now we have discussed how water moves up through the xylem now the question is how water diffuses from the stomata to the surrounding air how the movement of the water molecule take place inside the leaf so now that we have already studied about the anatomy of flowering plants so we all are aware of the internal structure of a root the internal structure of a leaf as well as a stem so that study will actually help us to understand how exactly water moves from stomata to the surrounding air because the concept of water moving inside the xylem tube is quite clear from the previous slide so now we will look at only the structure of a leaf now 
based on your uh, previous knowledge just try to recall in which part of the leaf the process of photosynthesis take place just try to recall the internal structure of a dicot leaf so here i have shown this on the screen this is how the internal structure look like so you have two layers of epidermis one on the top side and the other one at the bottom side and in the middle you have the mesophyll layer the mesophyll layer will have two layers of cells the palisade cells palisade parenchyma and the spongy parenchyma below the spongy parenchyma are those where you have a lot of open spaces lot of intercellular spaces so this mesophyll layer is the area where chloroplast is present where photosynthesis take place now how the uh, water will move inside the leaf and here you have the stomatal pore so th through this the water will move out or through this the water will evaporate in the form of the water vapor now what happens in presence of sunlight sunlight will provide the energy that is required for the evaporation of water so what happens water concentration is less in the atmosphere when compared to the water concentration inside the leaf now by the concept of diffusion water should move from a region of higher water potential towards a region of lower water potential right so now water will start moving from the stomatal cavity to the surrounding so here you can see this is your xylem this is only the a, a top view of the xylem it is basically a tube inside like this so now just imagine this to be a tube like this so this entire tube is having water molecules now as soon as one water molecule is lost to the surrounding by the process of transpiration it will tend to pull another water molecule here into this space now due to this pull the water molecule which is present even below this will experience a pull the one which is present even below this that will also experience a pull and that is how it will experience an upward pull so basically the water molecules remain here till the xylem from xylem it comes to these open spaces in the spongy parenchyma cells and from there it goes out through the stomatal pore to the surroundings so this is how the entire water movement take place in a plant it starts from the root hairs which absorbs the water present in the soil from root hairs it moves into the deeper layers of the roots by the process of diffusion from the deeper layers not only diffusion they also follow different pathways like the apoplast and the symplast pathway from the deeper root layers it gradually moves into endodermis from endodermis it will move into the xylem by active transport of sodium ions from xylem of root it will start moving upwards due to root pressure as well as the transpiration pull so all these mechanisms together help water to move upwards and get transported to different parts of the plant thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again